Greetings. Blessings. Today, I wanted to do a little quick chat about the winter 2024 season. Yes, I'm recording this video with my eyes closed because the, the reflection and the glare from the sun after we haven't had sun in a lot of days and then it is sunny, especially after a big snow, can't see anything and I don't have sunglasses, so that's that. But so the plans are for the 2024 winter growing season. Yes, already thinking that far ahead because uh, basically I need to be. So I'll link to a video here of last February where I actually had a bigger version of these tunnels. Instead, these are five foot pipes bent. It was a 10 foot pipe bent across. So it's probably about, you know, the length of the two tunnels and then it would come over in the three spots. And I'm thinking about doing that for the winter of 2024, just have one big tunnel or maybe two big tunnels encasing uh, two beds rather than just one. And maybe I could do it so there's three beds in one and three beds in another. That still needs to be worked out, that design, but it's gonna look exactly like the one that I'll link to the video here. Now, with that being said, the crops that I harvested through the winter, I know November's still technically not winter, I'll link to a video of what was being harvested in November, but fast forward to December, harvested a good amount of lettuce for myself and the owner of the land. If you go to January, I had a very small but humble uh, purple top white globe turnip harvest. And we did have a very mild start to the winter, so I may need to reevaluate what the crop is going to be for January, but I think with the two layers of protection from the tunnels, that still uh, will work out. If you go to February, I had a nice small again, but humble, pretty good, decent size though, a uh, harvest of carrots. And if you go to March now, right out of this tunnel, when I had opened it up to direct sow the first sowing of turnips, there was spinach that I had direct sowed in the first week of October in there. So basically what will happen is that it will germinate, grow a very, very tiny bit because we're getting so close to 10 hours of daylight by the beginning of November. So it'll grow through the rest of October, November, December. I didn't put the cover on the spinach until January. Like I said, we had such a mild winter and January is also when I planted the short day onions I could link to that video too, I will. And so basically, that means that I harvested a crop every month of the winter. Lettuce for December, turnips for January, carrots for February, and spinach in March. So when I'm coming to a close, or when I'm starting to think more and more about winter plantings, which will be mid-July, we're already starting to plant for fall and winter sowings. By the third week in July, you're already planting carrots for February, just for perspective. So I'll still have to work it out more in my crop rotation, but as beds are getting cropped out, I can plant those to three beds of December lettuce, three beds or two beds of January turnips, three to two beds of February carrots, and then three beds of March spinach. That will be a way for me to take my income through the winter time, along with the elderberry tonic and other things that I come up with in the future. Yeah, so I just had this epiphany and realization working it all out in my head um, yesterday actually, and I wanted to document it here and share it with you, let you know the plans coming for next winter. Like I said in the last one, it's basically just a waiting game now for the snow to melt. Uh, I'm working on getting some nice peppers, eggplants, and tomatoes growing, but 
until then, I, the brassicas, like the kales, the mustard greens, any of the, the lettuces, I know lettuces aren't brassicas, I'm just saying any of the cold hearted greens that I try to start indoors, they just get leggy. I'm using just a south facing window and not the strongest uh, light lamp. I'm just using what I got and um, working with what I have. But the eggplants, the peppers, and the tomatoes don't get leggy. So maybe you know why that is. I definitely don't. Um, but yeah, stay tuned. One love wholeness. Spring is almost here. I'm going to enjoy the beauty of the snow. And we'll see you soon. Hope you could get something from this. If you got any comments, questions, concerns, ideas, leave them down. And, uh... Yeah, we'll see you on the next one.